my name is Alexandra and welcome to my studio. So I'm very excited to announce um, you need a long for my new design and it's called Dragon Lore. And it's the one you see besides me and that's the one I'm wearing here. So um, I keep exploring and um, testing out and playing with Dragon Stitch, which I kind of finalized, a, came, came up with uh, several years ago. And this is actually my seventh design, I counted, um, with Dragon Stitch. And if you are familiar with my previous dragons, um, uh, specifically Dragon 3, I'm Dragon 3, you're probably wondering how similar this one to I'm Dragon 3, because there is a lot of similar elements. So it is pretty close, <laughs> but it's not the same. So if you're thinking, I already have a pattern for I'm Dragon 3, can I use it? Um, just, you know, like adjust the, the type of yarn and I use it for this design, the answer is no. So you do need this pattern for this design and um, there's, and here's why. <laughs> Number one, I change slightly the dragon stitch itself. And if you're not familiar with it, um, it's not short rows. So if you're not a big fan of short rows, no worries. There is not a single one in this design. So it's all about knitting tight. Uh, think of a sock knitting. And uh, so you're preserving a three-dimensional three shape. And then there is a several finishing techniques that I'm making uh, additional videos for um, that specifically blocking. Blocking is very important for this design. So you kind of seal this three-dimensional quality of this dragon stitch. So also another thing, if you haven't done that before, so some people think that it's very heavy. Um, it's not because those like, this is the right side. And if I flip it, um, so those dragon scales are actually hollow inside. So it, it may look like it's heavy, but it actually drapes beautifully. You can see it here. You see how beautifully it drapes. And um, it's uh, not like, it's it's not a solid um, dragon, not a solid scale. It's empty inside, just keep it in mind. So um, about this design. So it is similar again to I'm Dragon 3, but not the same. And it's specifically designed for DK, um type of yarn so it's heavy yarn um it's different dimensions um it drapes it drapes differently so it's more as a garment if um i'm dragon three and my previous um dragons they were done in mostly in uh sport and fingering weight so it's much more lighter and more flexible this one drapes beautifully again you know i mentioned it before so you see how it's just just kind of like a really flows beautifully but at the same time it's heavier and it preserves it kind of like it lets you do slightly different things so for example you can wear it in many different things um ways so right here you just can drape it around your neck uh, with the tails on the back or just like I have it here, because again, because it's heavier, I just put it around my shoulder, one shoulder. And what it has, it has a leather tassels on the back, on the, each end. And um, I, ha I will have a video tutorial how to make it too. It's actually much easier than you think. So, and it's got the magnetic snap on each hand and I just snap it. And I wear it just like this as a sort of like a shawl slash cardigan type of thing. And it keeps you warm. It's very unusual piece. It's a conversation piece. You have um, two leather tassels hanging on the one side. And because they leather, they kind of heavier. So they anchors the piece down. So they have very functional element to them as well. And it's also um, kind of like um, it dresses you up, but at the same time, you look almost like you're wearing a dragon hide. <laughs> so, or it make it look like you're wearing a, like some sort of a like exotic wing. Um, so it does look exotic and mythological. And that was the goal. <laughs> Another way how to wear it, again, you can wear it just like this, or I can... 
uh, drape it around my neck, but it will look differently from my previous designs because you will see. So I just simply stretch it out and I start folding kind of like a, bringing um, ends back together and you see how it folds beautifully on its own. And then you just wrap it around your neck. And because it's got magnetic snaps here, you just snap it in front and you have this beautiful piece, these leather tassels right in front of you, right here. So it keeps you warm. It's actually not as bulky as you would think on a back. It's not more than regular scarf. And it's definitely different and it's very dragony. <laughs> so I'm very excited about this design. So again, this is um, months and months of work. And finally it's here. So about the knit along. So I decided to do it as a knit along, but I will release the pattern on March 9th um, in full. So it's not going to be piece by piece. It's going to be the full amount and it's 10 pages long. Not because it's very complex. I'm just trying to be very thorough and detailed. So it's going to be written instructions, chart, photo tutorial, a lot of other photos. So you can see kind of like if you're guessing, if you're in the right spot, like you will see the photos of me working on it. Okay, so there's a, a lot of details there. And um, so what I was, um, I was also planning to do is to have um, on um, March 9th, 9th and uh, following maybe once a kind of like months or maybe more often I didn't figure out the schedule yet um to have sort of um zoom meeting kind of like a kickoffs party like a custom party with whoever wants to join me and then uh, we can kind of like a keep meeting once in a while via zoom and you can kind of like share the, your progress, ask me questions, and it would be kind of beneficial for all, all of us. So I think, so um, the schedule will be announced later and you will find it on Reverly or all my social media. And, um, the, but the best way to find it out if you um, sign up for my newsletter on um, my um, website, so the link below. So that would be the easiest way to catch up with the kind of, uh, you know what's going on <laughs> so you will have from now on until march 9th it's about like almost six weeks and it's enough time i think to get all the preparations and gather all the materials and about the materials <laughs> so this design is a collaboration with la bianeme and it's amazing yarn company it's my second collaboration with them and i just can't say enough of good words they're extremely professional and they have the most beautiful products so <laughs> they came up we did um like i made a mood boards and they came up with amazing sets for this design so dragon lore will have four designs and support different kind of like dragons so the one i'm wearing here it's called Sea Dragon. And you can see it's like a very kind of like a watery, kind of like a like beautiful, clear um, sea water, this foam type of kind of uh, feel. Um, so the one besides me is called Dune Dragon. So it's more earthy, more warm. And what I did here, I actually made um, kind of like a in the earth tone with a gold elements um vessels here so the other one the third set is called celestial dragon and it's this one right here it's hard to like you can see in the camera so it's it's more um purplish and it's beautiful like a deep purples and seals mixed together and um it's set of four each set and it's more like a deep space in the most dreamy way <laughs> if you're a big fan of purples and teals this is the one for you it's absolutely stunning all of them are stunning and this fourth one that i'm actually gonna work on while we're gonna work all together and start knit along and it's called um 
mountain dragon. And the reason for those beautiful colors is because I was thinking when I was creating mood board, I was thinking of kind of like a mountains far away in um, sunrise, like at just beginning of the day. So the colors are not like in a full kind of bloom colors, but they're a little misty and little dreamy and covered with a little bit of fog. So that was uh, the idea behind it. And just stunning, stunning colors. So this is decay. So for each of those uh, colors, you will need four skeins of decay weight yarn. And again, um, all the links below, the BNA map, have uh, those sets ready to ship. So get it while you can. So what do you can uh, download now? So if you purchase my pattern now, uh, first thing I want to mention, um, it's, it's slightly cheaper now than it will be starting on the March 9. So it's a good idea to buy it now. Um, so what you get is right now this dragon lore information, need to long information. And this is basically just, you know, pages of um, like a, this color sets, with the name of the colors and um, different type of materials that you need. Just like a nicely organized um, information about knit alone. So um, it would be great if you shop in your local yarn shops for materials, some of the materials, have it along, like you don't have to down, like print it out, just have it downloaded so you can quickly find exactly what you need. So about what you need. So I come up, so you need three sets of needles. So um, you start with US3 and I'm using Chiago. It's the only type of needles I, I use. And you may think that, you know, using decay weight yarn and size three needles is kind of like a extreme, but, um, that's the reason for that is because of think of uh, sock knitting. It has to be tightly knit to preserve this three-dimensional shape. So I would start with 32 or 24. I used 32 um, inch long circular. Then when you keep progressing because you're starting from this point right here and you work your way up, when you start progressing, I suggest to change to 47 when your stitches no longer fit on a smaller needle. And then very top, because it has to be very firm, you change to 47 um, in US1. So that's extreme. <laughs> you take the decay with a US1, but there is a, you do need very firm and structured top. So that, it works beautifully. So trust me. <laughs> so um, yeah, and um, the, you also will need, a set of just one set of um, uh, magnetic snaps. And I do recommend them because then they'll practically, I mean, they come in different colors so you can match your you know piece almost perfectly. I mean, you can see them, but they're not obnoxious and they ve play very functional role. So I, I like them a lot, magnetic snaps. Um, so let, and you need uh, stitch markers and you need exactly 22 stitch markers. I like to coordinate them with colors. So I actually um, managed to find the same, you know, like I organized my um, knitting matching stitch markers. So you need 22. And um, another thing is you, I do suggest to use a row counter because it's very important where you are um, in a pattern. So use a row counter or whatever um, other device you use for that. And also leather tassels. So leather tassels, I have, a, I will have in my pattern when it, um, when I, um, publish it on March 9th. I will have a step-by-step -step photo tutorial, how to make it, and it will be on my YouTube channel, how to make this particular one, um, this style of um, tassels in my YouTube channel as well. So don't be afraid. <laughs> it looks complicated, but it's really not. So it's, um, it's much easier than you think. 
I use trio laser, you can um, use um, artificial as, as well. But I just find, you know, it's a laser and wool go so well together. And I, um, in the last minute, they actually redesigned the whole thing uh, because it used to have a different element here. But I decided to go with more kind of renaissance, um, kind of like very flowy um, design element because to me, the kind of renaissance style and dragons go hand to hand so it was kind of appropriate and i'm very happy with it so here i think is kind of like uh, what you need to know about uh need along i'm very happy and excited if you join me for that it's a beautiful adventure and if you're into mythological things just like me and into dragons so let's do it together and i cannot wait to see um your uh, color choices for this design and um shoot me a question if you have any um i will have um i will mention below the video uh, the hashtag um if you're on instagram so just put hashtag dragon lore k-a-l cal I need to long so um so I can see you know if you publishing something so if you want me to see it um that would be wonderful oh another thing I wanted to mention so I just wanted to show you how much yarn is left after this piece is done so you have enough yarn left to make um uh tassels if you want to make a like a not a leather one but if you want to make it um, out of uh, leftover yarn. So this is not an issue. Oh, and another thing is uh, about the fading. So we have four colors, right? And um, in my pattern uh, that will be uh, released on the 9th, March 9th, I am actually writing down the fading formula line by line. And the reason for that is um, because the kind of like a new introduction of a new color or a different color has to go in a very specific spot in a stitch uh, pattern because if it's not it may be kind of it would not have the same effect so I actually also what I did I color coded in four different colors the um description of a pattern so um so like for example if you have any doubts which color you have to use you just have to look at the co color coding so each line or each row or number of rows that needs to be in different color would be highlighted in that color so i try to make it very very easy to follow but um again let's do this um dragon adventure new adventure together and um i'll see you soon <laughs> bye